Hi everybody from Fort Worth, Texas. We're here in the White Settlement area. You may remember a video I did at Dirt Cheap out in Stephenville back in the summer. Well, we're at this one here in the White Settlement area near the Ridgemar Mall. Kayla has told me in the past just how dirty the store was and she told me what it was before, but I can't remember what. But anyway, let's go in there and check out this old Dirt Cheap. I think she said it might've been a Kmart. This might've been Kmart with the Academy attached to it. I just can't remember. But anyway, let's go in there and see what they have for Christmas and do a store tour. What the heck? Oh, they have some bath sets. I guess this is a shower curtain with a couple of floor mats. It's okay, I guess, shower hooks. Anyway, let's go walk this way. Dirt cheap. Oh my God. They have gift bows mixed in with a bunch of other random things. Well, there was a rope light in there. There isn't any more. Wow. Okay, so we're in Texas and we're sporting a Buffalo Sabres. And here are their Christmas trees. Or, or, or whatever. It's just pieces of trees. I mean, that one looks cool. I would want to see it lit up, though, but the bulbs look like heck. Hmm. What's this? Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood Game. Well, it says 20 bucks. I'm assuming it's cheaper. It's a hole in the box. It's never been opened, though. I wonder if that's any fun. That might actually be fun. That's cool. That's a good find, anyway. A lot of Christmas goodies, though. What's this? I see Clark Griswold. Moose Mug Metal Bottle Stopper. I've seen these at Kohl's in the years past. I mean, that's cool to find out here. I know it's probably going to be a lot less than it is there. Look at all the little trees they have here. Little ferns, little trees. Oh my gosh, I just, this is impressive. This is impressively bad. <laughs> they got Christmas cards, but you just kind of have to sort through them to see what you like. I mean, I see a couple that look cool. Season's Greetings, that ain't too bad, but I, I like that one. That one ain't bad. But other than that, look, here's a book that was run over by a car. That seen better days. Um, okay. More miscellaneous parts to Christmas trees here. I'm hoping they're all in the box. These came from Target. I think, yeah, these are Target ones. Now, I know at the end of the season, if they don't sell, they donate them to places like this. Or if the boxes are damaged like this one, they have to salvage them out to places like this for a lower cost. As a matter of fact, they have wrapping paper. A lot of these look like they were smushed. And look, they have Happy Hanukkah paper. They have several, actually. That's cool if you don't celebrate Christmas, but you celebrate Hanukkah. That's actually perfect. They have a good selection. That and Christmas paper. Look at the gel clings. They have Easter ones. Or whatever. They got snowflakes. Okay. There's one with a couple of foxes. Not bad. On this table, they have more Hanukkah goodies. They have little menorahs. Like these little ones here. They have others. Gift bags. Let's see what's in. Oh my gosh. They have some ornaments. 2017. That's why they're here. A lot of Christmas cards. What a mess. At least they have a lot of cards, though. I'll give them that. They do have a lot of cards. Five dollars or less on Christmas merch. Wow. On this side we have bins of random goodies and you have bar, bar soap, a tree topper, more menorahs. A lot of Hanukkah stuff though. Actually, you know, I'm impressed. I, more here than I've seen anywhere else, honestly. Ribbon, they have gift bags. This gift bag's kind of cool. I like that one. Cheers. Pretty cool. Rock'em Sock'em Robots. These tables we have miscellaneous gift bags and gift tags just kind of blend it all in. We have a tin, no lid. Okay. That sounds about right. Gift boxes. More gift bags are just kind of mixed around. You just have to kind of shop through them all until you find something you like. Look the color. A dollar. Cool. Look at this stuff. Just... Look, look at that. Wow. I wonder what store this was, because this looks like these were fitting rooms over here. 
I don't know what store this was. I know Kayla told me before, but wow. Oh my gosh, it's like a bomb went off. Along the back wall, they have your bases for your Christmas trees. They have a lot of tinsel trees too. Tons of them actually, and those little tiny realistic looking trees or ferns, I guess I would call them, but they're more like trees. Um, more trees, I got lots of rock salt. I know you don't see too much of that around here, nor do you really need it that much down here. We need it like crazy up north. They have more trees in here. Got candles to put in the menorahs. Okay, that's cool. Isn't Hanukkah over? I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, they got lots of timers. $5.99. I'm sure they're cheaper than that. $5 or less. I could actually use a couple, to be honest. Wow. There's a Wendy's cup. That's cool. Jeez. All right, so you've seen the Christmas stuff, so now let's take a walk through the rest of the store and see what else they have. If we do that, then we'll go through this last aisle of Christmas goodies. They just have bins filled with random things. Look at these. You can decorate your own ornaments, though. That's cool. Put whatever you want in them, like snow and little trinkets. Oh, my gosh. I'm just blown away at this place. I know you can find good deals, and I'm not knocking on the employees or anything, but holy cow, how did you shop in this mess? Wow. Clearance from Target. Does it even light up still? No. Probably just needs a battery, though. These little, little wood blocks. I guess you could paint them. These are porcelain. Ski school. <laughs> Wow. Hmm. Taking a look at their furniture out here. These are actually pretty cool. I like these. I found a tabletop high enough for them. Wow, though. Wow. It's like a bomb went off in here. Look at this. I didn't even see Christmas lights. I was kind of hoping I would. Wow. How do you shop this? I wouldn't have the patience to go through all of this stuff like this. Although that shell mat is pretty cool for the bathroom. Wow, that is cool. I just don't have the patience to go through all of this stuff. Lots of ceiling fans. I just wonder what the store was. I know Kayla told me before. Domestic sale opens tomorrow, 12 9, so everything back here is closed off, so you're not allowed to shop any of it. Okay. Not allowed to shop any of the bedding. Okay. Yeah, Kayla's getting her hair done. She's over at her friend's house getting her, her hair done. And um, I'm actually with her brother as we're just driving around enjoying. Uh, Enjoying our day out here. This thing says sale on it. I don't know what store it was for though. Look It says sale for something. I don't know what I don't know what store company or whatever, but the tablecloth that says sale don't know who Yeah, while Kayla's getting her hair done at her friend's house uh, We're just spending some time hanging out driving around We got a couple chocolate mint milkshakes from Whataburger they are pretty good. So bad for you, but they're so good. And you know, you only live once, and we're only here for a week, so why not? Why not? Let me take another peek back here. If only they had one of those that had Steelers on it. It's one of those backrest pillows, so you can sit upright if you want to read a book, or if you're not ready to go to sleep yet. That's perfect. I don't want one with the Texans on, especially this season, because believe it or not, they are actually worse this season than the Steelers are. And I never thought I would say that, but it's true. This would have been nice to have if it had the bottom drawer. Bummer. Oh well. Look at that place. Let's go, let's go up here. They have a lot of clothing. They do have a lot of clothing in here. I'll say that. Lots of clothing, at least Tampa Bay Rays. Holy cow. Red Raiders, Texas Tech. Look at this. Each aisle is like a bomb went off. They have a lot of car stuff, but it's all miscellaneous, kind of like the piles of clothes. 
so I'm in the aisle with the automotive stuff looking at the assortment of oil filters they have and unfortunately I don't know the two of them off the top of my head the one for the B front and the one for the Z24 and it's it's really hard to look up part numbers online especially for pro line because they don't even make those anymore that I know of or at least for the older cars and I mean pure labor is good but they're hard to find too especially if you don't know the size because a lot of the websites don't tell you you have to go to the store and uh, anyway my point was if you remember the dirt cheap video I did in Stephenville back in the summertime you remember I you might remember I found a headlight in there for like a late 90s Lumina slash Monte Carlo from Chevy well I got one beat we got a brake caliper couldn't tell you what car it's for I have one here for sale <laughs> I mean, yeah, that is a new one. A Bray Caliber. Oh, what's this? A tail light. What's this for? That looks like it's for a Ford Ranger. Or the Mazda equivalent. And it's a TYC. It's an aftermarket brand. We use their aftermarket brands of tail lights and headlights for cars. You know, at, at the shop that I work at, if the, if the insurance company wants to pay for an aftermarket one, or if the customer does, that's what we use. They're actually pretty good. They're not junk. Oh, here's a headlight now, too. What's this for? Oh my gosh, this is hilarious. I don't even know. Is that for an Explorer? Or is that for... No, that ain't for an Explorer. Almost... I don't know, it looks like it's for a Nissan pickup truck. The old Frontier, I could be totally wrong though. Look, here's a tie rod. <laughs> here's a, looks like a Dodge Durango or Dodge Ram tail light. That's a Dodge Ram tail light side marker for something real fit ew <laughs> oh my god oh, look they got more look more tail lights what are these for no idea i i just i don't even know that is hilarious what's this one okay that's definitely an explorer or um if not explore expedition in the 90s i don't i don't know I'd have to see them, because it's been a while since I've even seen those cars. Here's an Explorer tail light. Now that's iconic. Mercury Mountaineer Ford Explorer from the 90s. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, here's a useless stand. I don't, you want to sit on it? I mean, I don't, no, I, I don't want to sit on it. Okay. Coffee makers and a dehumidifier. Okay, they got a vacuum, a shark vacuum. I'm sure there's something wrong with it. Lamps, pillows. All right. More clothes. Random hair care products. Well, yeah, well, this is HBA. Mud masks. Bactine. Yeah, I, I, they got so many things mixed in. Vitamin B12, actually. Because I use that. I have to take vitamin B12. Now, is it expired, though? No, actually, it's not. That's a surprise. I wonder what was wrong with it that it ended up here. And here they got the store closed off, too. Can't go back there. Oh, well, we can maybe go back over there. They have a big sale. I guess that starts tomorrow. Detroit Lions. That's another team worse than the Steelers. I feel bad for them, honestly. For the fans. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Shoes. Yeah, let's go back here. This is impressive. I'm blown away every time I come in here. This is ridiculous. There's their bathrooms. I don't even want to go in there and look. I really don't. Wow. There's another Christmas tree. Hmm. Snacks. Wow. Well, I hope you enjoyed this store tour. This was fun. It was so scary, but it was fun. Kayla told me about how bad this was. It's, well, it's dirt cheap. That's just how they are. Things just everywhere and anywhere that often don't even go together. Here's Christmas stuff here. Random Christmas stuff mixed in with toys. Okay.
All right, we're back up front now at their registers. They got more Christmas and Hanukkah stuff just kind of mixed in everywhere. Wow. What a heck of a store. I don't really see anything quite that I like enough to want to buy on this trip. I mean, that Mr. Rogers game is cool. Oh, look, they have holiday clothing here. That's actually cool. I don't know if they would have anything Christmas Story or National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation in here. But that's still cool that they have some things. And miscellaneous. Oh, these, like, little Scrabble activity books. Boggle. This place boggles my mind. Here, you want a BMW? There you go. It's only 74 bucks, even though the real ones aren't worth much more than that, honestly. Ooh, shots fired. <laughs> There's one last look at this dirt cheap store. Oh my gosh. This place is crazy. Okay, I'm heading on out of dirt cheap. That place is yikes. And I'm not ripping on BMW. I'm just not a fan. I would never buy or own a BMW car for any reason. Just too many things with them to go wrong. All the electronics and unnecessary stuff. I like cheap cars. They run, they last, and that's okay. It's all about personal taste, though. But anyway, I'm taking off. I hope you enjoyed the look here at this dirt cheap here in Fort Worth in the White Settlement area. Boy, that's hurting. Anyway, if you did enjoy the video, please consider giving the video a like. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to the channel for more content. I'm taking off because we've got to go pick up Kayla soon, and I'll talk to you later. So take care, stay awesome, and have a dirt cheap licious day if you can. Have a better day than that. <laughs> Bye.